Okay, well, the note said that Lily won the next bingo prize, whoever and whatever that is, and it says that I need to come here for some reason. Ah, the Diddy Typhoon. My kind of place. Good nom nom nomming, Kazuichi. Good nom nom nomming, Kazuichi. Uh, what? Oh, I'm just picking up some snacks for a party with my girlfriends in the fence. Oh, I'm just picking up snacks for a party with my girlfriends in the vents. Why are you... Oh, you're doing that thing where you say each line twice, aren't you? That's really weird. Well, I gotta go, Kazuichi. See ya! Yeah, yeah, see ya. What a weird girl. Good! Nom nom nomming, Kazuichi. Go! Yeah, what the... Oh, I'm just here to get some snacks. I'm having a party with my girlfriends here at the Titty Typhoon. No, I've got the sneaking suspicion something very specific is happening. And I may not know what it is, but I bet if you, the person watching, went to the Discord and asked about the vents, they'd be more than happy to shed some light on the subject. Take my advice. That's not a place you want to go. <laughs> it's full of nothing but the most painful despair. Howdy, howdy, everyone. Welcome to me shoving the entirety of this cactus down Nagito's okay, throat. Okay, uh, we're the bittersweet gamer. <laughs> I'm Wee Squared, and I just want an excuse to hurt Nagito. Is that so much to ask? I'm the opinionator. I guess we're about to have a really important scene, actually. I know, so I want to get all the funny out of my system now. You you call attempting to uh, use a cactus as a catheter? I said down his throat. What did you hear me say? Oh my god. Yeah, this is designed to be... So are we in Silent Hill Homecoming, or...? That's an alien. That's really unsettling. Ooh. I mean, good god. Hey. Okay. This is... <sighs> so happy, and... Oh and, my god! And... After this, you go to heaven. Did you see that to the left? Um, and flowers. Huh? Are you serious? That's what I want to ask. This is... I am deeply disturbed by this. Yeah, this was horrible. I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're all really here, but what are they doing here? There's only one reason they could be here. I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. I mean, when I made that joke about Ibuki shooting bobblehead nurses, <laughs> I didn't realize how appropriate it really was. Right? Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. Because obviously, who what? else could it be? You all look like you've seen a ghost. Fuyuhiko, are you all right? Does he look all right? <laughs> it's just a scratch. Now, as long as he actually didn't get killed by it, that part isn't what he's going to be worried about. I'm worried it's... about his eye, because he got cut right along the right side of his face. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, the thing that I'm worried about is, like, is he just going to be completely wrecked? Yeah. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Uh, especially if his sister's dead. I wonder if he's going to declare, like, declare vengeance. Maybe. This could be his turning point. Because this would be a good reason to be like, screw yeah. you, bear. Earlier... I asked Monokuma, and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword-related wounds. But they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> You're a ballsy one. Is this what's called having the devil's luck? Is that so? Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Well? Maybe 
Peko gave her life to protect Fuyuhiko. Are you serious? She protected him while she was getting attacked by that horde of marionettes? But still... But if she really wanted to protect Fuyuhiko at all costs, it's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. Yeah, that's that's the impression I got. Yeah, we assumed it at the time, too, yeah. that she was covering for him. You think so, too, right, Fuyuhiko? That must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? Who knows? After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned in his bed away from us and stopped talking. Um. I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he overexerted himself. Please, someone recommend we post a guard here. <laughs> oh god, you're right. He's a sitting duck otherwise! No need to worry, I'll take care of him for the time being. Someone post a guard here! I mean, that's what nurses are for. Now then. You hear that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me. I'll be the one who avenges you! That's obviously wrong. Seriously, he's not dead. He's right friggin' there. Um, um you shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on. Akane, Fuyuhiko has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. <laughs> I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. Move! I know that! I just have to win, right? Move? What are you gonna do? Punch him into good health? Yeah, I'm gonna try it! She's you never know until you try! He doesn't understand at all! Then... Eh, do whatever you want! Hey, Nekomaru! Sheesh! You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. Yeah, it keeps getting in fights with him about it. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However... I'm never going to do it to you again. Huh? <laughs> it? B please keep your voices down! You're the loudest one here. Damon was completely on spot with his accurate portrayal of you. Hey! Hey, wait a sec. Nekomaru! It, it was not my first time. I never thought something that feels so good even existed in this world. I'm listening. My body still hasn't forgotten. And now you're saying you're just gonna stop all of a sudden? It's hot. Look, my body's getting all hot again just thinking about it. Hey, hey! Hey, you're kidding me. Is it what I think it is? <laughs> huh? If you're not going to heed my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. Uh, hands tied. You people. <laughs> are so fucking stupid. <laughs> As he spat those words, Nekomaru left the patient's room. Wait! Hold on! I, I can't live without it! I ship him! With a voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on to Nekomaru, Akane rushed out of the patient's room. Oh my. I wonder what that was all about. Since I have extensive experience when it comes to television dramas, I feel like I ought to be able to make some sort of an educated guess, but I think I'll just be in the dark. <laughs> ah, it's finally quiet. <laughs> It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. I should know. I'm always quiet, especially in a hospital. Uh-huh. How pitiful. Humans are such foolish creatures. I know, right? <laughs> uh, hey, Hyoko. Mm. <laughs> it's nothing. Probably still angry at him. I'm worried she's going to try to kill him. Yeah, yeah. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko for reasons that it shouldn't take a freaking mind reader to figure out. This is something that has to get settled. 
She doesn't have to like it, yeah. but it has to get settled. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Mahiru killed by Peko. And Hyoko was nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she's just going to get over that. Mm, I wanted to know what it was. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? I'm a shock! You know, right? Like, no matter what, it means it, right? She's still talking about it. Hey, hey, hey! Suspicious! It's definitely suspicious! I better go set up some spy cameras. Oi! All we gotta do is follow them. You think so too, right? A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. <sighs> Is there a Monokuma hiding under the bed or anything? I don't know. There's so many freaking people around, it's hard to tell. <laughs> I'm so glad that Fuyuhiko's life was saved. Perhaps. Like Kiyaki said, it must be due to Peko. That or Monokuma specifically made them not stab enough to get him really bad? I, I think that it's better to think about it the other way. That's a good point. That's a good point. I'm sure that that's even true. Yeah, that's probably it. I am concerned. But I am getting a little tired. It must be from all the relief. We should leave the investigation of the new island for tomorrow and retire for the evening. I leave that matter to your discretion. Excuse me? You leave the matter of retiring to the island in my hands. Doesn't happen often, but every once in a while, Sonia forcefully reminds me she's a princess. Doesn't happen very often. This is the second time she's done it this chapter. Uh, so what should we do? Do you guys want to call it quits for today? We can talk about it tomorrow. I'm sure we're all tired from all the walking we've done today. Time to reload! That's Ahem! A, that's amazing that you picked the one person that would advance. Right? Maybe. It's probably impossible, but are those two in, like, an intimate relationship? Just don't worry about this, Good Kazumichi. Good lord, their kids will be monsters! That's true. An intimate relationship? Not how a teenager would describe it. Hmm. But didn't you hear it? How Akane was pleading as she ran after Nekomaru. Her voice was oozing sexiness, dude. The more he talks about this, the more he sounds like a dirty old man. Interested in bone structure and everything. But following after them is scary too. If I ever got caught, they might rearrange my face. If only I had more courage. Courage isn't what you were you're, you're lacking hey, here. Hey, Kazurichi. Those who won't run will never see the gold. Whoa! Huh? Well, it's a quote from a manga I happened to see, and it just crossed my mind. <gasps> what an inspiring quote! Huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> Hajime, my eyes are open now, thanks to you. All right, let's go run together. Huh? Me too. Crap, I should have kept my mouth shut. Let's go to our horizon. What is this, like Ashtano Joe, Captain Tsubasa? Gosh darn it! Okay, so we only get one person, huh? Well... I don't want to run towards the horizon with Kazuichi. I don't either. She's staring daggers at Fuyuhiko. It doesn't feel like I can have a, con a converse casual with her. <sighs> okay, so I happen to pick the other person that... Oh my god, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Ibuki thinks you can leave too. So Peko's last will was properly inherited by Fuyuhiko. <laughs> it's romantic, but it's just so sad. <laughs> I shall put my heart and soul into my song. If you make any loud noises, Mikan's going to be mad at you. I'm sorry, I'm telling you to be quiet. Did you say something? Now you're too quiet, I can't hear you at all. She's oh well, I think I should just leave her be. She's thinking pretty loudly. He's being completely silent and staring out the window. It's best if I don't make the injured talk needlessly. I should just leave him alone right now. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so glad Fuyuhiko is alright. You're the one who realized that Fuyuhiko was here, right? Yeah, as I was walking around the hospital when Monokuma suddenly appeared. He said he'd tell me where Fuyuhiko was if I caressed him all over his body. So I did what he said. You're such a trooper. Mofu, 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 That's mofu, pretty much mofu, sexual mofu. harassment. 
Why do you make me do this game? Well, that's a good question, but we've come this far. We may as well talk to everyone. Uh huh. <sighs> now that I have some peace of mind, I'm getting sleepy. I should go home for today. Same here. All that walking just wore me out. Sleepy. Yeah, so let's go home. Let's go home and get some. <sighs> she fell asleep while she was talking. How tired is she? So what should we do? Do you guys want to call it quits for today? <laughs> oh, so, Hajime. In the end, you have chosen to spend your time with me. <laughs> Don't read too far into this. How wise a decision you have made, mortal. Fuyuhiko's revival in the River Styx means he's returned to us stronger than ever before, just as if he were a Saiyan. <laughs> That's what this black wind is saying. Was that a pun? What wind? We're inside a building. I mean, the window's open, but... So... <laughs> Let us return to the place where hearts do not waver. He's not listening, but that's par for the course for him. All right, we can finally call it quits for the day. Um, Please leave Fuyuhiko to me. I'll make sure he's nursed back to health. I'll do my best. I'll do my very best to nurse him back to health so he won't be hated. Why don't I nurse him back to health, Nikon? Man, what's she gonna do? <laughs> Put a bomb in here? I don't know. The people she hates most. She's still glaring. Luckily, she's tiny. I can just hoist her over my shoulder. For now, we decided to call it a day and headed back to our cottages. Walking around all day wore us out, but the exhaustion we felt might have also been a feeling of relief. I arrived at my cottage much earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. And had another stupid dream about that stupid bear. Oh, did you all come to hear me talk some more about Robert Zadar? No? Uh, well, okay then. What? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? That's naturally the perspective that I would take. <laughs> they immediately attack people in groups because they don't have many friends themselves, you know. I disagree. Look at the super friends. Yes, I'm sorry I made that reference. You should be. They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad and I won't forgive you and laugh, you know? They're lazy people who run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? Are you talking about the same thing? <laughs> Everything I'm saying makes perfect sense and is completely true, and evidence backs this up. I'm... What am I actually talking about? I think I'm talking about bullies. They're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting someone who is alone or unarmed, you know? They're always the winner, so they don't know what it's like to have a weakling's worries, you know? And they like to wear flashy costumes, you know? So I suppose what he's saying is that when you are very firmly on the side of something, when you've taken sides in something, uh -huh. you're more likely to see those who are completely opposed to you in a view that is completely favorable to your own position. Yeah, that, that, okay, that makes you sense. You see what I mean? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like, everybody who thinks differently than I am is just a stupid meanie head who's completely worthless and doesn't know how to do anything right. Everything about them is wrong, stupid. Dance and they on wear their, flashy costumes. Yeah, dance on their graves and they wear flashy costumes. There's some basis. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Which means they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn elitists who don't have many friends. Emergency! Emergency! Do you really want to admire people like that? You should focus on someone who's full of despair. Like me! No. No, I don't think we should. Go away. <laughs> You'll regret this one day. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School 
Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. It's been a while since I've slept a lot. My head feels clearer thanks to that. I had the sneaking suspicion that we missed one of the dolls. Ah, it'll be fine. All right, I should head over to the restaurant. Mi Mikon, what, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm looking after Fuyuhiko. Good morning, Mikon. Is Fuyuhiko here? Hello. Oh, Hajime, good morning. Um, uh, it's almost time to meet with everyone at the restaurant, right? Yeah, I was about to go as well. I'm so glad. I went to check on Fuyuhiko, so I thought I was late. I see. You're so busy this morning. I guess you didn't spend the night at the hospital then. Um, not at all. I'm only useful in situations like this anyway. Well, we're in a murder game, so... <laughs> I'm sorry! It's so morbid! Oh my god, it's okay! How's Fuyuhiko doing? Well, it might be better to ask you at the restaurant when everyone's together. I understand. Then I shall go on ahead. I guess I should go to the restaurant. So, Nekomaru, let's talk about it. I hate clowns! <laughs> Yo, Nekomaru! Your voice is too soft. Project your voice more from your stomach! Jeez, does he have to be like this in the morning? I, I guess so. G Good morning! Yes, sir! <laughs> All right, now your voice will reach the sun! Oh. And to our departed, Mahiru and Peko. You're right. I'm sure they heard it. Huh? I'm just a mere team manager. Therefore, I don't know anything about art. However, when I saw Mahiru's photos for the first time, <laughs> my vulgar heart was greatly shaken. Truly. That is a splendid thing. My vulgar heart, no less. How humble. It's a pity what happened to my hero, but I will never forget how she taught me the value of art. Yeah, I'll never forget it either. You know, I really like this game. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I agree. There was some degree of grieving in the first one, but it it doesn't seem, it seemed like they just grieved a little and then just moved on. Well, this game is paced a lot slower than the first game. Yeah. And so in exchange, what you get is everyone doing more things and expressing a more complex set of emotions. And I really appreciate that. However, it makes the game go slower. I'm, oh no. Fall my tears. Yo, Gundam. <laughs> For you to actually greet me in the morning. I greet you all the time. I praise your admirable endeavor, slave. When did I ever become your slave? How Speaking of slaves, Peko too was a foolish soul. Mm. Fine. I accept her desire to merely remain her owner's loyal tool. However, that's a limitation of base creatures. My four dark divas of destruction are not tools, nor are they slaves. Let's go, Jumpy. They are healthy Let's underlings, go, and also Let's friends see. whose loyalty is matched by their devotion to military rule. At times, we clash over our ideals and our tempers flare. But that only bolsters our power and allows us to reach greater heights. <laughs> that is why I will one day exist as the supreme overlord of this world. You know, I get what he's saying. Yeah, I was going to say the same I thing. I really get what he's saying. Stay back. Like, huh, just as I thought. Apparently, it's too difficult for a simple human to understand. Oh, we understand, Gundam. Yeah, well done, Gundam, well done. Friends, huh? I think he's saying something very cool, but the fact that his friends are hamsters is a bit problematic. You know, maybe if Fuyuhiko would have been able to say stuff like that to Peko more often. It seems like he didn't have a problem saying that. The problem was he couldn't really get her to listen. You know, the, that's probably true. How awful the Kuzuryu clan must have been. How awful To brainwash her like that. Yeah. I mean, mm. let us not forget how terrible that is 
they stole away any right for her to have an identity and told her that she was the that she was like the indentured servant yeah. of of like the heir but the heir always valued her and always indeed loved her yeah yeah mm. it's like he wasn't treating her badly at all no he wasn't Hmm. Ibuki is picking up something on her antenna. Huh, I guess that would work. Hmm. Hmm. The winning lotto numbers are... I'm listening. Whoa, whoa. What's happened? Aww. I want to listen. Huh? Emergency! I want to listen to songs by Ibuki's favorite artists. There's no TV or radio here, you know. I'm starving to death for musical deprivation. Um, don't they sell CDs at the supermarket? So well, what's the problem with those? S selling as in you just take them because there's no real economy here on the island? Don't worry this about is that. going nowhere. They do, but there's only the classics. Oh, because it's not good pop. enough, huh? <laughs> well, why don't you just stick with the classics then? Right at this moment, new albums are plopping out all over the world. I do have this CD, but it's not the kind of music you like, right? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, this is... This is summer festivities! <laughs> <laughs> you must not be scared of anything if you seriously showed this to me, Hajime. What? Is there something wrong? Summer festivities? Ah, oh, crap. I seriously can't believe you don't know. Hey, hey! The song Summer Festivities is by the Black Cherries. Those guys always get hyped as rivals of my old band. Concert promoters would be like, Battle of the Bands! An epic showdown between the chicks and the dudes! And they always like to compare their ticket sales and concert attendance numbers with ours. Mm. Oh, really? Then, uh... <laughs> but it doesn't matter to me anymore since I left the group. Why, you... Like, music shouldn't be reduced to sales oh, numbers. Oh, yeah, she said that she she went solo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right. So do you want to listen to it or not? <laughs> However, <laughs> thanks to that CD, I've thought up something awesome. Something awesome? Okie dokie, Hajime. I have a question for you. Are you free tonight? You mean and for a special a... scene? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> That's sudden. And what time is tonight exactly? Hold on a sec. I'm the one asking the questions here. Hurry up and answer me. Is, is, uh, tonight maybe when we're done with all the events? Probably. That's how it worked the other times. Tonight, huh? Hmm. Why, yes, Ibuki. Well, I guess I have some free time. <laughs> Yahoo! Nice answer, just as expected from Hajime! Hey, hey! Then, let's see. Two hours before Monokuma makes his announcement, let's all meet at the supermarket, okay? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it! I only casually promised her, but I guess it's okay. I should try not to forget. Well, neat! That's pretty cool. So, Akane, yeah. what's it? Yo, Hajime! Hey, good morning. Hey, hey. Oh, you're looking better than usual. Why, well, thank you. I just got asked out by Ibuki. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, there may be something that you might not quite be understanding here, but that's all right. <laughs> Everyone I've met is like that, too. Did something happen? We're, we're all happy Fuyuhiko is okay. Well, Fuyuhiko is safe. That's probably why. <laughs> I don't know why, but I also feel like I can eat more delicious food than usual. You know, Akane, I kind of want to say something to you and not and not be scared of it because you'll forget in like, you know, an hour or something. All right. Speaking of which, why don't I challenge my limits? I'm going to eat everything in the restaurant. Here's some for the rest of us. Even if I have to rip it out of your mouth. Uh. Even though she's not aware of it, Akane definitely looks happy, too. Even though she's not aware of it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go. Jeez! Doesn't it feel like we're forced to meet up at the restaurant every morning? There's nothing I need to find at the... Th I didn't read that line right. There's something I need to find at the supermarket today. Well, it's not going anywhere! Something to find? Want me to help you? Huh. It's fine. I'm just going to look for a camera, and I'll probably find it really fast. Oh, poor thing. I have a camera. Well, it's actually a toy camera, and is this another event? Do I have to pick between the two? That's weird. Huh? Really? Um... Mm, if that's the case, I'd probably need a real photographer anyway. What, what are you planning? I wonder if you do have to pick. That would suck. Hey, you! 
Hey, Hajime, I have a favor to ask you. I guess I'll listen to what you have to say since you haven't insulted me this entire conversation. Well, she needs good hey, things hey. so she doesn't go yeah. crazy and kill Fuyuhiko. Come to the music venue right after breakfast. Bring a camera, too. Okay, okay this will happen first. Excellent. You've got some free time, right? So it's okay, right? What should I do? I have no free time. <laughs> I don't dislike anyone who knows their place. What does that mean? Hi. Then it's a promise. You definitely have to come. I guess this means we don't get free time events, though, but no, that's okay. Did the free time events cut into the... Room? No, but it seems like maybe they will this time. I don't know. Who that's knows? fine. We'll find out. Somehow I ended up making a promise, but is this really okay? I hope she doesn't make me do anything weird. Anyone else? Nope, just you. You're the only one who didn't walk away after I talked to them. Anyone else want a special event with an item? Anyone? Kazuichi? Yo! Yo, Hajime! How are you? There's an awful lot of yo going on, isn't there? <laughs> are you playing a game? It's rare to see you playing games. Hmm. Yeah, well, Chiaki's always into playing it, right? I couldn't help but noticing That's... the bone structure. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's not what you're noticing. So she's letting me play for a little while. Hey, hey. It's not like this is my machine. There's no reason for me to give you permission. You... You say that, but... You're like the queen of the arcade machine. You think so? You serious? You're not aware of that at all? Uh... Well... After getting beaten up in the previous match, I'll definitely return the favor. I don't know why you think you can win. Chiaki was playing Nikon, too. Chiaki's been engaging with these people in her specialty as well. Yeah, well... Video my... game. I, I feel like playing video games is a bonding event. Don't you guys? Nope. You don't have to return the favor. Huh? What did you say? Are you saying I just have to stay a loser? <laughs> then let me tell you this. You'll definitely catch this topic's bait. You'll, you can't beat her unless she wants you to win. <laughs> I, I mean, now hold on, hold on. I mean, you're better at me at, than me at fighting games, and sometimes I manage to squeak out a victory against you. Yeah, but it's been, it's been like 15 years since I seriously tried to play fighting games. I have rather gotten rusty. I know. Furthermore, there was one point Let where... Let me have this. <laughs> there was one point where I had... Like I've said in the past, there is a while where I was seriously playing a couple of Capcom and SNK games, and I got pretty okay at them. I got good enough to know that I sucked really bad, which means <laughs> that anybody below me stood no chance. Well, anyway, after I gave that up due to time considerations, I, mean, I basically decided or realized that if I wanted to seriously continue to improve, I was going to have to do nothing but play yeah, fighting yeah. games basically forever. So I decided it wasn't worth it. Mm -hmm. That's well, why I don't play competitive Pokemon or anything like that. Well, a couple years later, uh, I ended up playing... Like, I ended up randomly meeting this this guy who also really liked fighting games. And he invited me to, to play fighting games with him. And and so I played Guilty Gear with him, something like 130 matches or something uh -huh, like uh -huh. that. I was able to win a round. Whoa! If there, if, when there's such a level... I, that one round, I won, though. But if if there's such a difference then you're not going to be able to win unless we're talking about less than 1% Or someone's like holding that. back on you or Though something. to be fair, I never liked Guilty Gear and was never good at Guilty Gear. So <laughs> if we would have been playing like CVS 2, darn it. You want to listen, right? Right. Well, right. now that I've gotten a chance to talk about that and King of Fighters, yeah. You just really want to say it. Then what is it? Right. <laughs> Listen and be amazed. There's a street on the third island with lots of busted machines, right? Kazuichi, you know that I was on that street with you and Hajime was also there and we were all talking about this very same thing. If you would have said this to anybody else, <laughs> we'd be amazed and you'd be telling us something new, but you, you understand what I'm saying, right? Nope! I found some portable game console thing in the junk over there. How did I miss it? I found it first. <laughs> really? It's that true? <laughs> See? What I tell you, you totally took the bait. Hmm. But still, it looks like this is out of order. No problem for me, even though this is in no way like a car engine or anything. Aww. Oh, how useless. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, hold on! Who do you think I am? I'll definitely fix it up till it's brand new! I bet he can, but I have to say, hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey, hey! 
Well, no, didn't you see that they did that? Oh, yeah, yeah, the back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> then when it's all fixed, I'll give it to you. Hmm. Then I'll wait, but I won't look forward to it, probably. Hey, 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 hey! And now it's Hayes! <laughs> probably look forward to it, otherwise I'll be sad, you know? Just watch, I'll completely fix it up, and I'll make you say thank you with tears running down your face. Kazuichi, are you trying to make a young girl cry? No, 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 that's not what I meant! <laughs> Isn't his intent kind of off? <laughs> Good morning. Are, are you upset that the console didn't work? What happened? You don't sound that excited. Kazuichi's playing that arcade machine. <laughs> you can just play it together. I played one match with him earlier. He told me to give it my all, so I did, and... Two seconds later. I got yelled at for winning a flawless victory. He said I was childish for playing seriously against an amateur. Oh, that's just sour grapes. He told me to do it, though. Kazuichi. I wonder which one's more childish. I am disappointed in you, Kazuichi. You totally could have been better at, at flirting with Chiaki than you were. <laughs> but why should we assume he has any skill at that at all? Hey, 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 yo, 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 hey, hey, yo. If you ever do that again, I will turn around and throttle you where you sit. <laughs> the faces of everyone who <laughs> gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat lighthearted. Everyone must be really happy that Fuyuhiko's safe. I know we are, geez. Yeah, the yeah. atmosphere really is pretty good. Um... The day ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together our information about the new island. Jeez! In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape from this island, right? Ah, yes, and then there's the altar to Beelzebub <laughs> back there. Seriously, you guys are useless. Yes! But there's a music venue! I see. I, I got that, but what about the clues that we really need? Did, did anyone get some? Clues like information about this island or anything that might help us understand what's happening to us. Look, like normally maybe from a laptop. Normally that stuff is really important, but this time we found nothing like that except the really conspicuous <laughs> laptop that tells us all of these things. Ah! <laughs> well, since Hajime is not going to say anything, in the town with all those machines, I found a clue contained within a file inside one of the laptops. Nagito, I was waiting to reveal it dramatically. Oh, sorry about that. You saw that too? Um... I was told about that by Nagito, so I checked it as well. Did, this did no one just bring the laptop console. here? It is literally a portable console. <laughs> you is can that, just pick it up and move it! The whole point of its existence is to be easily portable. I saw it too. It's about the fact that Hope's Peak Academy has already been destroyed. <laughs> huh? Hope's Peak Academy has been destroyed? Remember that uh, second island? The ancient ruin? Is that Hope's Peak Academy? Wow. It's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hope's Peak Academy would fall. But even if it is a prank, it's not something he should be allowed to do. Damn it. A symbol of hope getting destroyed. It's not something you should even joke about. <laughs> uh, okay, Nagito, just sit down. Well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if you just confirm it for yourself. <laughs> if I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. I've got an event to do with Hajime later. How so basically, on that island, we found no way to escape nor any useful clues this time around, especially considering none of us are taking the laptop and the information contained within very seriously. <laughs> no, oh, hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. <laughs> uh... Time loops. Even Monokuma has implied the existence of various batches. Hot. Know you not quantum physics? No! I'm a robot, not a time traveler. Or maybe I am. You don't have to correct us each time! I'm sorry, I don't know quantum physics! <laughs> However, it is not all bad news. Fuyuhiko will be able to return to us. <laughs> that guy pisses me off. 
But it sure makes me happy to think he's going to come back to us. He's recovering so extremely. <laughs> I can't read my light. <laughs> okay, this time I'm sure I can get my light out properly. It's okay, Mikan. So Just take your time. don't laugh at me. He's recovering extremely well, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in one week. Considering how freaking injured he was, one week is really fast. <laughs> However, he's just like Billy said, probably lost the use of his right eye forever. Jeez, he totally deserves that. Just Man. let that stand. Hey, aren't you going a little too far? Just let it stand. Man, I sure did eat on stuff today, too. Was I intervening at an appropriate time or what, guys? Sheesh. You certainly eat a lot without even listening to what the others are saying. Um. Okay, then. Since I'm stuffed, I should go train now. Oh? Train, you say? You hate training. How rare it's of you. It's because she needs to be able to win. Yeah. If I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. Oh my mom. She's like really pumped up. She must really want Nekomaru's it. Huh? Ha! I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. I'd better go follow her for no reason. <laughs> With that, our morning meeting ended and we all went back to our cottages. I'm supposed to meet Hyoko now. What does she want me to do with the camera at the music venue? I wonder... I wonder if this replaces a free time event. Oh, well, I'd rather do this anyway. Hey, Hyoko, I'm here. Jeez. You're late, Hajime. Oh, my, my. If it isn't Hajime, what's up? Aren't we meeting again later? Huh? Ibuki and Chiaki, too? Why are you guys? Man, this is just like hang out with Ibuki the episode. <laughs> right? It even started. She was in all the other events, too. Uh... I hope that doesn't mean she's not going to last the game. What does that say? Oh, could it be... Does the cameraman mean you, Hajime? Cameraman? Wait, hold on. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Man, you sure are dense. You won't get it unless I explain it to you. D dense or not, it's impossible to find out without a hint or two. That's a very good point. Apparently, we're going to hold a memorial for Mahiru right now. Oh, Mahiru? I see. Mahiru told see. me she wanted to take pictures of me jamming on an instrument. And she also said she wanted to take pictures of Hyoko dancing. <laughs> so we decided to do it all together here. I shall call this the Memorial Jam Session. So you know, this is this is just like another thing that's really good about this game. They're, all the characters are really demonstrating their ultimate talents instead of it just being window dressing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. So I have to take pictures of that. Why, why is Chiaki here? I guess that's a great idea. I'm sure Mahiru's gonna be happy. Well, I guess, hey, come hey. to think of it, Chiaki has been at... Maybe not all of them. Yeah, she wasn't with the coconut one. But she was in the others. Well, except for the man's nut, I guess. Well, Ibuki wasn't in that yeah, one Yeah, no, either, I just so. realized that. Anyway. If you think so, you're gonna accept the cameraman position, right? But that's a huge responsibility. I'm a wussy little main character. What?! Hey. Are you saying you don't want to do it because of that? What? No, I will! There's no way my pictures will be as good as Mahiru's, but I'll take as many as I can with what? this toy. What's Chiaki doing here? Ah, I see. Oh. I'll be counting on you. I do my... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I'll do my very best to play an instrument, too. I guess because they're not dissimilar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, out of... Out of every... I can't talk either. Never mind. Forget uh -oh. it! Huh? You too? Um, At first, I heard about the idea from Ibuki, and I was just planning to watch. But look, I found this in the storage room. Is that a triangle? Yep. Even I can play something like this, so is it okay if I participate? Right. Instead of watching, I can join you guys. I want to mourn for Mahiru too. How the heck can I say no after that? No problemo! You don't need skill on this stage, just heart. Well, I guess it's okay. My hero's probably gonna be happy about that. You know, isn't it maybe a little weird how quote-unquote good Chiaki is? 
I've been suspicious of her for a little bit now. I mean, not only how she's always nice to Moto me, but there's the fact that she's the ultimate gamer. There's a lot of the video game like references, right? Like, things that seem to indicate this is a game. She might be like Moto me's controller, yeah, or I was thinking something, something like, that. like that. Well, it's just that she's very smart. She participates heavily in the investigations. She's really important in the trials. She's and kind of the Kyoko analog, you know. Except she not only does what Kyoko did, but she's also really emotionally strong and and kind of bonds everybody together. Yeah. Like what Monomi is supposed to do. Yeah. But yeah. she actually pulls it off. But the thing is, is, it's a little too perfect. I agree. I agree. I mean, it's hard not to like her a whole lot. She's extremely likable. She's cute, she's funny, and all of those other things. And she's got big boobs! But it's, like, just too much. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but... But we're on to you. Understand? But if you suck, I'm gonna make you stop, okay? You know I can play rhythm games too, right? That's a really good point. And so we finished our preparations, and the memorial service for Mahiru began. are crushed by the silent serenade! Even the tips of my fingers are crimson red! Oh, God! This is not what I really wanted to see. But I guess it's all for the pictures anyway, so good enough. I, I'm rather impressed that Hyoko can dance to that in a traditional style. Well, if she's the ultimate dancer, then there you go. Or ultimate traditional dancer, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's electric! It feels awesome! I like the chicks on her fan. Little chick. Little oh, chicks. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Hyoko. Oh, really? Is that. Yeah, no, no, her name is Hyoko, but uh -huh. Hyoko is chick. Nice. Ding! <laughs> Chiaki's hitting that triangle with intensity. Oh, like Ibuki said, it's all about heart, passion, and Hajime's pictures. The combination is crazy, and everyone's doing different things, but strangely, it's harmonizing really well. Even though our paces are all different, will we be able to be like this in the future? Hmm. Mahiru, can you hear this performance? Are you seeing Hyoko's dance? Not just Mahiru. Peko, Teru Teru, Byakuya, are you all watching? We will never forget about you. Ever. And we will not waste your deaths. We will survive and get off this island. I finished my job without any problems and decided to go back to my cottage for the time being. You really do feel a lot more unity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, just... I, There's a I, lot of things about the way that they're doing things that that makes it, I think, a lot more emotionally resonant. Than yeah, the especially when they do actually kill each other because everyone seems to be getting along so well. Yeah, and they spent a huge amount of time building up to it. Yeah. Now then, what should I do today? Yay, we still get free time! At least one! Ha 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 ha! That's a nice touch. I wonder who put it there. Why did I ask that question? He's just silently staring out the window. It's best if I don't make the injured talk needlessly. I should just leave him alone right now, even though we really need to do a free time event for him. Let's see if we can go upstairs. Woo! I I'm terrified. Uh. What's, that MRI machine is gonna go to go a wall. Conference room, staff room, on call room, huh? And we can look around and don't tell me you're gonna hit the button to see what you can look at. Maybe. This isn't a room for patients. It looks more like an on-call room for hospital staff. That's why there's boxes! But all this cluttered medical equipment makes it look like a storage room. Thanks, Hajime! If this is the only on-call room, working at a hospital must be tough work. Why am I applying any kind of normalcy to the current situation that we're in? So, if a room like this exists, that means there used to be people here, right? That's true. Seriously, what the heck is going on with this island? And, uh, hit the button and... Okay, okay. Well, let's just get Not 450 things. Maybe it's less suspicious than we thought. 
medical equipment and nursing tools. There's a lot of other medical stuff here, too. Like Sounds those like urns. <laughs> Look, they might be pee jars, okay? This room looks like it's used to store equipment. We've already been through that. No, I had to say it again. There's a bed right next to a pair of large open windows. That doesn't sound like a good call. <laughs> it resembles the ones in the patient's rooms, but these are probably for breaks. You know, after seeing the staff here at work, if they want to fling themselves out the window <laughs> on their breaks, they can go right ahead. Okay, maybe those windows aren't open. Because I kind you can kind of see the bottom of the windowsill. Hmm. This room is... A lot of chairs and desks here. I guess it's sort of like a conference room. That's what the sign outside said. Why, hello there. <laughs> uh, I've been found. <laughs> it's a folding desk. That looks more like a folding table, but whatever. They probably arranged these inside the conference room during meetings. It's a really big window. The room looks more spacious thanks to that. It's a projector. Well, it's not strange for it to be in a conference room after all. That's a big curtain. A big black curtain inside a hospital. Doesn't really seem like it belongs. Is that because this is the conference room? Well, to, like for the block out the light for the projector? Yeah. Why is there a projector though? Well, you know, like to project on that no, board over there for like I, meetings. Sure. What I meant was it's kind of ancient technology, but then again, this island is like, like uh, 1991. Yeah. In terms of like the available technology, I guess. What? Lucha Libre International. International. That sounds amazing. I wish we could go there. <laughs> you just want to see a Akane in a Lucha Libre outfit. I know I do. There's a hospital on the new island, and Fuyuhiko happens to be there. Doesn't that seem convenient? Considering how he might have died without it, I'm willing to accept it. It does seem way too convenient, yes. And I'm not positive that everything is a coincidence. I also think that all of the data windows all <laughs> over the buildings and inside the movie theater are also not a coincidence. Ibuki's nose detects the scent of a conspiracy! I kind of agree. Let's go That's talk about how conspiracies it. smell. Let's reveal the conspiracy together. The answers might or might not be hidden at the hospital. Why does she want to go to the hospital? I don't know. We but... already were in there looking for... Aliens. Plushies. It's amazing that we still haven't, haven't uh, done this. Ah, oh, yes! Yes! What? Meow. Jeez, hurry! Hurry up and choose me! What? She wants you to throw a Pokeball. Um, um, were you ever in any school clubs? School clubs, huh? I can't say for sure because of what happened to our memories, but I probably wasn't in any clubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That's a major bingo! No, 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 we're doing that at the end of the chapter. <laughs> what is... Well, isn't it obvious? You should be part of Ibuki's music club from now on. For a while, everyone thought music clubs were outdated because the rock and roll boom was dying off. That's totally it. But now music clubs are super popular with boys for some reason. We should jump on the bandwagon too. But I'm not really into music. <laughs> no problem. You can just pretend you're playing an instrument while a music track plays in the background. Is that okay? I don't think so. That's dishonest. That's not something the ultimate musician. Yeah, I That's agree. not something the ultimate musician should say. Even if I'm pretending, I've never even held a music instrument. <laughs> Everyone starts at that point. As long as you feel the love, there's no problem. That is true. Everyone is going to be in a position where they have never even held a musical instrument. What do I have to do if I don't really feel the love? Aww. It's okay. Jamming out is so much fun. You'll be so popular with ladies. Chicks go out with guys who pretend to be musicians all the time. I mean, I guess jamming out randomly is okay if you can handle, like, the cacophony and discord. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, 
if I'm like whistling a song and somebody else starts whistling or humming another song, it makes me want to kill them with a metal bat. I maybe could have picked better timing to say that. Shame. By the way, Ibuki thinks guys who don't like bands are narcissists, so she doesn't like them. <laughs> that isn't something the ultimate musician should say either. Meow. Yep, yep. Now choose the musical instrument you want to use. Guitar. Trombone. Ah, Ibuki has dibs on the guitar, so you can't use that. Looks like I've been roped into her scheme. I guess I really have to choose something. I've never played any type of instrument before, so it doesn't really matter. Drums. Boo! Then, I guess the drums. Good job! That's awesome! All right, it's decided. Should have picked a bass. Drums are great because you can just hit them to the beat, and you don't even need to know how to read music. Although it helps. <laughs> as long as you can move your arms and legs independently of each other, even a novice can play them real easy. Every drummer in the world would hate you for saying that. I see, I now see. Now that we've decided on an instrument, uh. let's start with learning how to use a loudspeaker. <laughs> I like how she's just giving you a lesson in how to be really bad at this. Hold on a second. Why would you need a loudspeaker? I'm sorry, I need a loudspeaker. What are you saying? It's a must-have item for live performances. <laughs> it doesn't mean you just hold it and scream into it. Yeah, like I just did. If you don't put your soul into it, the loudspeaker won't respond to you. <laughs> Put your soul into it! Shout! Shout! Let it all out! These are the things that I'm talking about! I was forced to do some weird training that didn't make any sense to me at all. I didn't really understand Ibuki to begin with, but with this, I don't understand her even more. <laughs> Success! Oh, good. We still get two free time events. Wow. Fuyuhiko! Please talk to us. We know that you won't hang out, but still... You're the only person we haven't had the first free time event with. Oh. Well, since we can't do it for you, Hiko, I've decided to pick Mikan. All right, Mikan's room. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, um. I like how she's got like a little quarter sofa thing and all like oh my god this room is amazing and, except for that that's terrifying and all these plants and you know a gurney <laughs> charts it's pretty well organized too oh Hajime what are you doing reconsidering my choice of actions I haven't gotten to stalk you in a long time I'm making a house call Oh, that means you're playing with me. I'm going to visit the library. Would you like to come to? Anywhere, as long as we're not here. Please don't hate me. There are some medical books there that I was thinking about studying. Well, well you know, Mikan, you can, like, check them out. I actually think that the tissue would be good, don't you? I also agree. Besides, she'll probably take anything. Yeah, for the first one that requires a pr present. Is it really okay for me to receive such a wonderful item? Common tissues? Uh, other than dying, I can pretty much do anything. I'll take off my clothes. Uh, please order me around whenever you want. Oh. That's what you need in return for these tissues, isn't it? Um, this got really awkward. This is bad. If the silence goes on any longer. I'm sorry, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Did I do something wrong again? Seriously, you didn't do anything. I already told you that I just want to talk to you normally. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm glad. I said normally! Um, if you would like to talk, I don't really know what everyone likes yet. Well, um, there might be lots of things I'm not good at doing, such as walking or picking out things Maintaining at the store. Erect. <laughs> what? I meant to say staying on her feet, but I said something else completely wrong. Uh, 
I'll do anything. So please let me know. Do I think I know what Billy's thinking about? <laughs> that was the Freudian slip if ever I've made one. That was the Freudianest of slip. <laughs> do anything? Of course. I'll do anything. Hey, I don't think you should say something like that so freely. Here we are in my room. Anything. What? Why? I mean, before we even arrived here, everyone else didn't seem to mind when I offered to do anything so they wouldn't hate me. For fun, I tried eating strange bugs, and I let them use my body when there wasn't anything else to write on. That's awful! Also, I had to be responsible for debts and be the target for dart games. I am a well-adjusted human being. So, Mikan! About debts! You get out! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty useful to a lot of different people for a lot of different reasons, you know? Would you like me to give you all of my money and then do lewd things? I... Um... Strange bugs! Hey, hey, that doesn't sound like a joke at all! How can you be smiling when you were forced to do stuff like that? Do you actually enjoy it? Um, Obviously, I don't want to do that stuff at all! But if it makes everyone not hate me and smile at me, then it's much better. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, oh, I have such a deep, dark void in the inside, and I feel that one of these days, <laughs> I may snap and do something truly horrible. For some reason, I feel this profound concern. Why is she like this? I mean, a target for darts? Takes on other people's debts? The hell? Why is her self-worth so low? Well, and why she is normally it... hangs out with Hyoko. And why is it that other people just smile at her for it? If you throw darts at somebody, are you going to smile at them afterwards? She just hangs out with sadists. She finds the worst people. Hiyoko probably treats her really well compared to everybody else. <laughs> Bet you're right. You know what Hiyoko doesn't do? Try Throw to darts at yeah, her. try to murder her with darts, or try to do like other things. Um, Hajime. Why am I backing towards the door? No reason. Um, um, would you like to try it out? To... Don't you start on that. <laughs> Doodling is very fun. Please draw on me wherever you like. Wow. Um, also, I'm good at pretending to be a pig. Oh, poor Mikan. I feel so bad. Yes. This is... It's like it's so horrible that it goes out the other side and comes out as ludicrous. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. No. I'm not called Pig Barf for no reason. It's a practiced skill. So please don't look at me like that. <laughs> Sorry. For now, let's talk again later. You need to calm down. No, let me be your Pig Barf. Draw on me, master! The hell is going on in there? I'm sorry! I'm terribly sorry I offered to take off my clothes! I'll, I'll make sure to get it right! I'll make sure I get it right next time! So please talk to me again! Oh, I beg of you! Sure, I promise. Please, stop! Crying! So, I'll see you later, alright? <laughs> yeah, I'll be waiting for you forever! It's like I ran away or something, because I did, but I should definitely try to talk to her properly next time around.
I returned to my room, but I felt like Nikon was still watching me from somewhere. Forever. I kind of feel like we ought to finish Mikan's events. I also feel like something terrible is going to happen to her. I mean, if we don't finish her events... <laughs> well... God, it's so... I feel so bad for her, but... I... <sighs> for whatever reason, though, she's probably still one of my favorite characters, though. Same here. It's almost time to meet Ibuki. We had to meet at the supermarket. I should head over. In the next episode! Surprise, suckers! No, oh, everybody saw that coming. Come on, we gotta up our game. Ha 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 ha!